Bissell Brothers Brewery is located in Portland, Maine. The city of 50,000 residents currently sits on top of an ever-changing list of most breweries per capita, with Bissell Brothers being number one, and in no particular order, names like Allagash, Definitive, Lone Pine, Liquid Riot, Foundation, Rising Tide, Austin Street, and many more. Bissell's focus is mostly on hoppy IPAs. And with so many breweries producing different types of beer, the market thrived all around them. Now let's go back to the beginning of their journey. So we travel 150 miles north of Portland to Milo, to the brothers' hometown, a rural community of 2,500 where the brothers were raised. Peter, being the oldest brother, is the first to leave home to attend the University of Maine. In 2009, Noah attends the University of Farmington, majoring in psychology. In 2010, Noah lives with Peter in Portland for the summer. He falls in love with the Portland scene, but sees a hole in the market for craft beer. Noah begins home brewing at the age of 19. The first few batches were not very good. He kept at it, approaching brewing, not as a hobby, but as a science, calculated and measured. Noah brewed batch after batch over and over to perfect his recipe. Peter, now tasting the early recipes of substance, knew his brother had something. Noah tells Peter that this is what he wants to do with his life. Peter, running his own business, believes in Noah, pivots and plans the business model for a brewery. And in 2011, during Thanksgiving, the brothers tell their father about opening the brewery. The next 15 months builds to their plan of opening their business. Peter refers to this time as the great awakening in his life. In 2012, Noah graduates from Farmington and moves down to Portland to live with his brother. Peter gets Noah a job working at the Thirsty Pig in downtown Portland. Noah brings a lot of beer knowledge to the establishment, bringing in many clients. And shortly after, Peter starts bartending after his day job, both working hard and long days to save as much money to go towards their brewery. This would be the starting point for the grassroots effort. Giving out t-shirts and samples of brew to family and friends, talking about the plans to local patrons and making many connections like David and Daniel Clayban from the Maine Bear Company. In 2013, when the brothers started looking for a space, the Clayban brothers reached out to the Bissell brothers, turning over their location at one industrial way. The main beer company also sold them some equipment at a great deal. This was beneficial to both parties instead of taking the system apart and putting it back together. And the brothers saying, signing that three-year lease in April was the scariest thing they had ever done. On December of 2013, after almost two years of planning and raising money, their dream was now a reality. They opened their doors with 220 barrels of substance. Summer of 2015, business was good. A variety of mobile food trucks and other beer producers in the same building and immediate vicinity had created an experience that was not to be missed. The brothers helped making the area to be named the Beer Mecca of Portland, sharing the street with Allagash, Foundation, and Austin Street. They did face an obstacle with the Maine state law that limits breweries that make 50,000 gallons to legally self-distribute. A former employee, Schlesinger, saw the need for a different type of distribution company. 
and Sleek Machine Distro was born, officially launched in August. This helped the brothers' expansion in sales. And at this time, Peter and Noah met J.C. Tatro, co-owner of Trillium, at a Vermont beer and music festival, becoming good friends and will end up collaborating down the road. 2016. Needing to expand, they moved to Thompson Point to a 10,000 square foot facility in Tapper in a 100 year old former rail car repair building. Moving to a largely abandoned waterfront site, this was once home to the main Central Railroad. Open to the public on June 4th of 2016, along with the tap room and seating area, a loft to view the tanks and working area. At this time, there was food trucks, but today Bissell Brothers now has their own kitchen on site. The area has been developed with a music venue, an ice rink, and children's museum. In 2018, the opening of its second production facility in Taproom, in the brothers' hometown of Milo. This brewery was built to focus on mixed fermentation beers, wood aging, and spontaneous fermentation. The Taproom's large outdoor area features a refurbished 1922 caboose and is host to music, games, and other entertainment. This location is special to the brothers to help invest in their hometown. Since 2013, the Bissell Brothers has gone from turning out 550 to 8,000 barrels a year, making it the state's sixth largest brewery by volume. Fun Facts Number 1 90% of grains in Bissell Brothers Brewing flagship substance ale is grown in Maine. This sold about 6,000 barrels of substance last year, enough for every man, woman, and child in Maine to have a pint. Number two. The molecules on the substance can is a reference to the homolone, a type of organic acid is a bitter tasting chemical compound found in the resin of mature hops which give hoppy beer its characteristic bitter flavor. Number 3 In 2020, Bissell collaborates with Trillium with luxurious tiles and again in 2021 with Tile Cutter. Number 4 Their first delivery truck was named the Green Bastard. Number 5. Bissell Brothers' investment into the environment with installing 305 solar panels on their roof, eliminating 160,000 pounds of CO2 each year. Number 6. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, flies one of his assistants to pick up a few cases of Bissell beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.